Good morning. We are in fitness culture. Oh, the last couple days have been rough. Just go, go, go. We are here. How are you feeling this morning? Great. Where can people follow you? Uh, Andy J. Scott. Andy J. Everything. Scott. Yes. For some Instagram. reason that reminds me of The Office. Michael <laughs> J. Scott. Andy J. Scott. We got some new tables in. This is not where they're gonna stay. This is like the CrossFit functional area. These tables will go elsewhere. Renee's in the house. We gave Jason the morning off because the guy's just been working hard. He had to drive home after last night's flight. But we're here this morning. We're gonna get up the clothing. We're gonna put them up on our garment rack and steam them, de wrinkle them all before the sunset or sunrise. In 20 minutes. Uh, <laughs> hero stuff? Yeah, yeah, we can start with that. You get the light stuff. Did you just call my line pretty? No, I meant it's it's very like masculine. This is so you. Like so all the me. details on it. I love. Which it's one totally is the, which one do you think is the most me out of all these out of all of them? Oh jeez. Definitely one of these. These or camo. Oh look at how cool this is! You like that? <gasps> and it's Soft. It's really soft, right? Wow, that is so nice. I love it. And then look at the one. Look at the piece on the end. Oh, this is what you were in last night. This for sure is no, so. No, what I was wearing last night. Oh, it's extra long. What was you were wearing this last? No, what were I you wearing, wearing last night? I was wearing the green version of uh, this. Oh, they're different. Wow, babe. Yeah, that's a cap, and then that's a. I. What do you like better? Which one? I think my favorite piece is that one on the right there. Here? Yeah. yeah. Although I do like that one on the left side too. So yeah. nice and it's soft too. It's all soft. I love it, babe. It's awesome. I'm excited and it actually fits me. Woo! It's me. Like, <laughs> so win. I'm American. And these are all, I think they're all pretty much XLs or larges. Maybe the pants, or the sweats, but I think the sweats. <gasps> Wait, I didn't even see this. You like that. This, is, you have so many shirts like this. But not with your name on it. <laughs> That's so nice. Poppy, what do you think of dad's line? What do you think of dad's line? Yeah. Hi, hi, come here, come here, come here, hi, come here. She's muddling. She doesn't like her outfit. You don't like your outfit? Steve like ruined her. All she wants to do is be held, like that too. Like a baby. There's a problem. Hi, right, I'll hold you like this, like a little baby. Swag pop, we gotta get you a little G S X S C outfit. Can you imagine? <laughs> well, right, maybe she could come to Australia. We're gonna get this. We're gonna get through Bye. this. Hi. To do it, we'd be going to the right. Yeah. So more, like, with more of that, even more of it. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, 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 that's cool. Shoot, 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 shoot. And pick the other sleeve. Okay. That is a wrap. Thank you. You guys should follow this man. Andy J. Scott on IG. He takes dope photos. I'm like really impressed with everyone he shot with too, like NBA basketball players, people that I look up to, so it's really cool to actually get to work with somebody who's on that level. I'm on a new level! <laughs> Thank you, man. Appreciate it. Super excited for this whole entire line to come out. We've been shooting, 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 so hopefully um, we're we'll gonna be able to showcase to you guys just how awesome this material is. You guys wanna feel this? Come feel this. It's amazing. It really is. All right, I gotta get a real workout in now because I've just been playing, playing workout for the last couple of days. It's time to really get it. You know what I'm saying? You know what I'm saying? Look what I can do. Let's go. <laughs> so the collection has been shot two full days of shooting. Um, tons of stuff going on at the gym right now. I feel like I'm busier than any other point in my life. I'm just dealing with lack of sleep, lack of focus. I feel like I'm all over the place, like I'm mentally ADD. I need to probably get off my phone. And sometimes you feel like overwhelmed with stuff. I feel like it's been a great, 
week but i'm also you know you're always looking at social media making sure things are going in the right direction and at times we do these and i know i've talked about balancing that out i think tonight i need to do that i think tonight is a and i need to not think about work we've put in probably 12 hour days or more every day this week and that's the thing nobody tells you when you want to you know when you want to live your own dreams it's not a nine to five job it's an all the time job i'm constantly thinking on my phone checking emails getting alerts the gym looking at potential supplement partners the clothing line reaching out trying to get back to everyone on social media dms reaching out to potential other people that we want to do app stuff with and i feel like at times i'm not fully there in person for the people that are immediately in my vicinity vicinity and i feel like um I don't really feel connected right now after this week. So, to the good part, it's National Pizza Day, which means I'm gonna go home and Courtney and I and the popster are going to make some pizzas. I don't think we are gonna make puppy pizza because she's on a very strict diet because Frenchies have skin problems if they don't eat, if they're, they're allergic to a lot of things that can lead to issues. So I'm gonna, <clears throat> I'm gonna go in right now. I'm gonna pick up some awesome stuff for homemade pizzas because I probably should try to make it somewhat healthy rather than just going to Domino's all the time. And then we're gonna go home, make homemade pizza, maybe even have a glass of wine and watch some Game of Thrones because Courtney, I'm re-watching them all <clears throat> with Courtney. It's funny because she was always hating on me watching them. Now she's obsessed. So we're almost through season three and on to season four. Let's go pick up some grocery items for homemade pizzas. Make this the best homemade pizza ever. All right, places everyone. Places everyone. You know what we're about to make? The ingredients have been brought home. We had to stop and get this pizza pan, which cannot be washed with any soap. Okay. Okay. We have the mozzarella, we have the prosciutto, but we have to make the pizza dough. It's a gluten-free, it's really the only healthy thing that's gonna be on this pizza. So, let's jump into it and make it, because it's National Pizza Day, and I've had a long week, and I need pizza. Oh, look at that face. Thumbs up this video for Poppy. Thumbs up this video for Mom. Let's get to work, pizza time. All right, we got our canola oil. Our apple cider vinegar. This is for the crust. This sounds like a freaking healthy crust. I'm about to go eat it on mozzarella though, so <laughs> it's okay. Wow. I love it when I swear on camera. Get it? All right, go boy. <laughs> I'm kidding. So divide dough into two equal parts, roll into balls. Place each ball on an oiled pan. Wow, look at that forming. You're quite the expert pizza forming. You didn't know this, but I was a pizza boy for four years before I met you. That's cool. Mm -hmm. It's made with like pretty awesome ingredients too. You're made with pretty awesome ingredients. Thanks, I know. Boom. All right, so we have our fresh, fresh mozzarella, which is a must. We have our low moisture, which is we're gonna sprinkle, and it's really about the coverage on the pizza. So while that's cooking, um, I'm gonna be cutting up the mozzarella. We also have a dry like Parmesan that will grate on top of the pizza after we take it out. You need to have this because it's gonna invoke a little bit of flavor in this. It's gonna be on the top. It's not gonna be baked in. If you bake in, you're gonna lose it. So we're just gonna grate it on top. It's gonna be amazing. Where'd you get the skill? All right, so we have, we have oh, I thought that was hot. We have pre-done the dough here. And now we're gonna do a red sauce. So, red sauce, I like to do pretty much just tomatoes and salt. The sauce is all about the tomatoes. This one also has some onions, garlic. So we're just gonna do this. And this is all preference, you know? When asking about how much sauce you need, I always tell Courtney, it's about preference. Such a shit. <laughs> I just said that. Babe, we don't have that on camera. You never said it. If it didn't happen on camera, it never happened. Whatever. So we're just gonna add these thumb, half thumb size pieces of mozzarella. I'm just gonna sprinkle it with the low moisture mozzarella. And again, how much cheese you add is totally up to you as well. And then we're gonna go some spinach leaves on here. We're gonna add the basil. The basil is one of those ingredients you add after. When the moon hits your eye. I think in another life I'm Italian. I've had this like Italian kick for the last, I'd say two weeks. I watched. 
all the godfathers and since then I've been like, I'm gonna make you an offer I can't refuse. I'm gonna go out and buy the pizza ingredients if you cook my pizza. But then I'm like, no, I like cooking pizza. I'm gonna cook it myself. All right, that's all the garlic I want. Back into the oven. All right, I'm gonna let that cook for 10 to 15 minutes checking in it. And then we're gonna add our thinly sliced prosciutto afterwards, um, along with our basil, a little bit of olive oil on top, and that's gonna be amazing. <laughs> All right, we've added the prosciutto and the basil, and now we're just finishing off this top with the mozzarella. The crust isn't as crispy as I would have liked, but hey, you win some and you lose some. And I'm only gonna add these jalapenos so to part of it. Here. It does? Yeah. It's because freaking your boyfriend's an Italian little chef right now. Chef Boyardee. Little Hi, Palmer. My rap name would be Little Chef Boyardee. Wow. No? Okay. All right, let's try to eat this thing. This is what you get after a long, you earn this meal. You earn this meal by shooting long and hard. You earn it because it's National Pizza Day. That's what's up. Last finishing touches beforehand. Fill this glass up. And I'm gonna go get into some lingerie and watch Game of Thrones. Have a night with myself. Are you coming? <laughs> sure, I'll be there. Yep. <laughs> Keep it going. Woo! Now that's a glass of wine. Oh my gosh. This pizza is a 9 out of 10. It would be a 10 out of 10 if the crust was a little bit better, but with a gluten free crust. Mm. Holy hell. That mozzarella. You need two types of mozzarella and then the parmesan on top. That sets it off. The spinach is nice, but the basil gives it the amazingness. And then also the hint of garlic. I haven't tried one of the ones with jalapeno yet, but this is definitely the best national pizza day I've ever had.